everyone and welcome back to another video. Thanks so much for joining me. Uh, we finally made it up to McCall. Uh, this has been, if you remember in last week's video, I tried to come up here, ran into a couple issues so I wasn't able to make it up here, but uh, we did it. And despite the rain on the drive up, which took a while, it did lend itself well to a few nice shots along the way. Um, honestly, I just kind of pulled over on the side of the road, took some photos. Uh, we are getting some amazing cloud coverage along the lake or along the hills up on the lake. Um, so yeah, really having a fun time coming out here, taking some of these sunset photos. Um, it's, yeah, it's just a, a, a gorgeous lake. And even though it's currently Labor Day weekend, it's much quieter than I was expecting. Uh, and I think most of that is due to the rain. Been bouncing back and forth between handheld and tripod um, with stabilization. There's no real need for a tripod until I switch over to long exposures. So this is actually kind of a, a tricky shot just because it's hard to get the right um, focus and not overexpose the sky while you're trying to capture the silhouettes of the hillside. Um, it's winding up a little bit dark, but then the sky looks, I want the sky to look overexposed. try this just about right now I want to do a long exposure of this all I have with me is my circular NDs right now these variable NDs that's fine I don't want to go crazy long but I do have to hurry I can't really get it like a, a, a glassy smooth lake just because I don't have uh, the right ND with me Let's try F20 for 10 seconds. Why not? And with this final exposure, I think that's the end. I think that's the end of the light. Okay. As you can see, it's pretty dark. Sun is basically gone. And we are working on cooking us some dinner. I killed it. You killed the fire? Yeah. This is my sister here. And These are my hands. <laughs> she's in the midst of working on a mural up in town. She doesn't want to be on camera. So you'll just hear a disembodied voice <laughs> off to the side here. This is my shoulder. That's her shoulder. That'll be the back of her head. <laughs> um, but yeah, she's... It's amazing how awkward it can be filming in front of somebody else, especially when they're like waiting for you in order for them to eat dinner. Um, what's really going on here is uh, my little attempt at humor, which was poorly executed. I'm trying to be funny, feeling kind of awkward in front of somebody else. So um, anyway, I did like the pictures that I took after I stopped recording and I'd like to know what you think uh, as we go through them right now. <laughs> This video footage is not going to look good. I'm filming on my phone. Um, this isn't necessarily stealth camping, but it's certainly my first time camping in a parking lot alone <laughs> in my van. So um, I, uh, I'm not sure about this. Um, just to give you an idea, those lights you see over there, houses. Uh, the front windshield I covered up but yeah house is that way house is that way house is that way yeah very interesting not sure who decided this was a good idea but that's all I could find uh, that was in or near town and safe and not illegal because I would I would never camp overnight somewhere if it was illegal 
sorry for the interruption, uh, but I was feeling like having a little bit of context here might be helpful as the, the video continues on. You see, I decided to drive up to this area of McCall um, earlier in the day and I would camp in my van. I was gonna like find a nice spot somewhere where there was going to be a, a nice sunrise and a good view so I could wake up early and take some photos. Uh, the problem is, by the time I got there and visited with my sister, who, you know, wanted to hang out, get some dinner, by that point, um, everything was dark. It was pretty much uh, nighttime, so I didn't have any time to scout around, I didn't have any time to find a campsite, and I wound up having to kind of just find whatever was available near enough town that, you know, hopefully I could wake up and find a good photo spot. And the place that I found was actually a parking lot. It was right in town, right off the lake, right near the marina, actually. Uh, and it was completely free to overnight park after, se after the season, which ended in September. Um, so I thought, perfect. Pull in there. There's other camper vans, so I feel it's even more legal. Uh, and I just, you know, thought there was going to be just a pleasant little evening where I could sit. I might be able to read my book just relax and then sleep and get ready, uh, get up early for some photography. But of course that couldn't last. I mean, where would, where would the suspense be if I wasn't chased out of there by a bunch of drunk people? So at right around 11 o'clock, uh, a group of young locals, I'm assuming they're locals, uh, just started raising hell, if you pardon my French. Uh, they were literally just like driving around in circles in the parking lot, shouting curse words everywhere, and uh, uh, really acting very threatening. I decided uh, that I did not want to deal with that. Every so often they'd, they'd drive off, and then I could hear them come right back a couple minutes later. So I decided that next time they drove off, I would just hop in the front seat of my van, drive off, leave all my bedding and everything set up already. Who cares? I just drive off, go find a more quiet spot and sleep and, and try to get some sleep before morning. And that's really one of the main benefits of having a van, if you think about it, is that you can literally just pull over and sleep. So you know, I drove for another hour or so, just kind of looking for a good spot to pull over. Uh, and it wasn't until about 1 a.m. Uh, that I literally was like too tired to keep my eyes open, starting to go down a mountainous road, really didn't feel comfortable going much far, farther, so I just pulled over the widest shoulder I could find uh, and just laid down to go to sleep. Um, pretty tired, pretty irritated, um, and honestly at that point questioning why I didn't just like stay at a hotel. I don't even know if you can see me. I don't even know if this is a good spot. It's literally the best spot I could find. It's the widest shoulder. <laughs> it's 12.30. I'm exhausted. I'm going to go to sleep. Long night. This is kind of embarrassing, but the only blanket I brought is this thin fleece. isn't well insulated because I'm in the middle of remodeling it. So it is like a refrigerator in here. It's like, <sighs> tossing and turning for like an hour now. Just trying to get warm. vitamin water, drink some of that, give me some caffeine. I'm also getting hungry. I'm wearing all my layers. <laughs> Yay. Okay, so it's about 4.30, 4.45. I think I maybe fell asleep for half hour. 
maybe. Um, there's, I'm amazed how many cars just consistently drive up and down this road at all hours of the night. Um, and now that it's like morning, there's even more of them. Seems like every minute or so there's another car driving by. Um, I got, I, I did not freeze. I stayed warm, I uh, wore my puffy, uh, changed into pants, socks, two layers of shirts underneath, hood over top of my head, blanket around me. Um, yeah. <laughs> do what you gotta do, I guess. So I've kind of already found a composition that I like. Uh, speaking. Speaking today is not going to be good. Uh, there's a lot of stuff I don't like about this photo. Um, I'm not hopeful that I'll be getting any cool shots. Uh, the real challenge is finding a subject. That's what I'm focused on today is finding a subject.